guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean, hey, Benny, bring it here. <laughs> sure. Oh Mildred? Yeah, hey, how are you? <laughs> You're on candid camera, kid. Yeah, I'll get, get you and Bob, Bob without his beard on. Oh, here we are out. What do you call this area, Bob? Is that like moving? Hello, Bob. Hi. I haven't seen you since we played uh, backgammon. Oh, geez, that was so long ago. It was a long time ago, yeah. <laughs> I work at night, so I'm yeah, uh -huh. during the day. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Bring it here, man. Yeah, that's a boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my, oh, my. You went up on the table and got that spot where I had it drying up. Where you had it up there in the yeah. table? I think you're showing off. Didn't you? Is that automatically focused? Mm -hmm. also? No. Yeah. No, it's got to. Uh, you must be hot in all those clothes. One pair of my shorts to put on? Oh my goodness, honey, you ruined his teeth. <laughs> He's not going to give it back, though. No. <laughs> Looks like an old duck. Yeah. Seen the tub, haven't been in the hot tub yet. Oh, well, we're supposed to be in Julie's at uh, 4.30. So. Oh. Uh, How you doing there, Mildred? That beautiful uh, blouse you have on there. You know, I like to have my picture too. Oh, sure. Now you're with, well, Bob likes his picture. Bobby. Bobby, okay. You weren't going to call him that anymore. No, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Jr. And there here's Big Bob without his beard now. <laughs> Last time you were out, you said that. I'm not going to call him Bobby I'll anymore. Forget. Hello, can you talk? Probably want a cracker? Huh? Hello. My name's Josephine. My name's Josephine. What's your name? My name's Josephine. What's your name? Hello? Hello? Want a cracker? You'd rather have a martini? I don't blame you. Drinking out of it. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, Betty? Seize the opportunity wherever it comes, I guess. <laughs> oh, Benny, he likes that. <laughs> Jump in. Jump in. Oh. Well, this is really nice. Beautiful. They come with that pad, or did you have to order that separate? Or? No, that, uh, that part of the package. I uh, see. I've never seen where they have the pad like that. Uh, that it helps keep the airborne turned out. The, uh oh. The tree. What'd you say? I said, this is good old Green Bay. Yeah. Yeah. That's for sure. I feel like jumping in. Okay, oh, there's old Benny over there. We're at Bob and Marilyn's home. And this is a new jacuzzi. And what what else would you call that? A uh, patio, I guess? A deck, yeah, I guess that's. Go get it, Benny. <laughs> That's the boy, Benny. You can just sit there and let the waves bring you. Yeah. This is a rock. <laughs> Got it. That's a boy, Benny. Float on your back now. Get on your back, Benny. Float in. <laughs> there he is. This is Green Bay. Looking 
towards the city, I guess, over in that direction. Can't see any of the buildings. I was saying that that little uh, boathouse right there during the last storm just took the roof, lifted right off the uh, zoom guide, Betty. And they're the only ones that were here during the winter. And they have pictures of that swing there that you're looking at. And it was absolutely coated with ice. It was an unusual looking thing. Oh, Benny's waiting for them to throw a stick in. Oh, there. <laughs> He's quite a dog. When we first met him, why, he had a red neckerchief around his neck, right? Right. Bandana. Bandana. Seven. Friday, Betty and I arrived on the 3rd to babysit what you're looking at right here. <laughs> That's called Baby. There she, she knows, is. She knows oh, name. she knew her name. She good. just had her dinner. Betty and I are sitting out in the patio playing backgammon. The sun's been shining in Betty's face. So it hasn't affected her game. She's ahead 2-1. to one. Too. I lost the last one. But she lost the last game because the sun was blinding her, that's for sure. <laughs> Where's baby? baby? Oh, there she is. Pretty baby. And what beautiful weather we're having here. Baby likes to come over here because she can look through the the uh, uh, wrought iron, not wrought iron, but the, anyway, the metal railing we have here and see down below what she can't do across the way where she lives. I'll show you where she comes over. She comes over. This wall right there, when we're here, and her folks are home, the Wrights are over in, tonight they're in Santa Ana, California, but, <laughs> you like Betty with, with my hat on? Oh, stop that, that's a cute little hat there. Anyway, we're sitting here, and I'll show you our backgammon game, and there's where Baby comes over all the time, and, and visits with us, and... So we have a lot of fun with her, so we didn't mind coming back to, to babysit her. But it's a really beautiful weather. Just so I don't shoot into the sun, I'm going to just pan a little bit here of the Coa Resort Funny Green, where and there's a little barbecue down there. Some folks are doing a barbecue. We have our own little barbecue here that is electric. There's building number four over there. We're at building number three. You can see from the sky, it's a beautiful evening. And the full moon will be when, did you say, honey? The 11th, I think it was. 11th? Today's the 5th. Today's, today's the 5th, yeah. yeah. Next Thursday. Well, that's good. Well, we'll take some pictures of it, I'm sure. So here's our famous backgammon game, and Jenny gave us that, and we have had lots of battle royals playing on that darn thing. There's a little barbecue there. But what a beautiful evening it is. You having a good time, honey? Oh, I sure is. <laughs> Are you kidding? I always have a good time. Oh, that's good. And we, uh, how much paperwork did we bring this time? About this much. <laughs> darn little, I guarantee you. <laughs> And we're going to, what are we going to do tomorrow? We are going to go for a beach walk in right. the morning. Yeah. I promise. Yeah. I want everybody to hear this. Okay. Right. And in the afternoon, we're going out to the pool. Right. Dinner's all prepared for tomorrow night. What are we having for dinner we're tomorrow night? We're having Swiss steak with Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts? Yeah. Good you God. Why did you put those in? Oh, you like those. Oh, yeah. 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 Right. And maybe, maybe mashed Potatoes. Oh, that sounds, I like that, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that sounds good. Okay, fine. Now, say that again. I said back to the back end. It's your role. My role. Yeah. And how many games am I ahead when uh, we started here? Well, I, 
I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> 16. I'll tell it so everybody but knows. But I've won two. And I've won one. And you're down tonight. one right now. Okay. Come well, on. that's not too shabby. I will. Okay. okay. Back to the the backgammon game <laughs> and the battle royal. Right. We'll be back on on camera oh, sometime. Hold tight. Baby went over on the other side of the fence, we think. Oh, she's over there on her doormat. Oh, she is, huh? What's doing over there? Huh? Oh, she's having a heck of a time over there. Yeah. With that doormat. She you feels frisky, huh? You can't get in the house there. Yeah, no. Uh, as you can see, it's a beautiful day again. Slight breeze blowing. Betty's hollering for baby to come back. She's scratching herself on, her, on the doormat. <laughs> How do I get out? <laughs> We're going out for a walk on the beach in just a short while, but I thought I'd get a little shot from here. The beautiful yard and all. The barbecue. That's the one that anyone can use, but we have our own up here on the balcony with us. Eddie's over there <laughs> cleaning up <laughs> baby's bathroom <laughs> for her. I'm just smoothing it over. Yeah, we had a little breakfast out here and we have our this telephone in case phone rings while we're here and Betty's been working on a crossword puzzle and thank God for dictionaries. <laughs> when do you want to go for a walk? Right now. And how far are we going to walk today? The whole bit. And that's okay. good. We've done more walking in three days than we have in th ten months. Get my hair done this afternoon so I don't care. Let the wind blow. Maybe you'll go in the water even, huh? Yeah, those hammerheads are growing up. <laughs> oh, no, that's pretty safe there. I think so, huh? Okay, can I go in? Sure. As you can see, the ocean is real calm today because the breeze is just a nice, easy trade wind that's blowing. Trade winds come from the right and blow to the left. And the Kona winds come from the left and blow to the right. And when the Kona winds come by, we can have pretty good storms here. And uh, if the wind comes from the west, it, it can really blow. If it's raining, it can really blow against these uh, glass doors we have behind us. That's a beautiful place here. We love it. Can't see all the pool, but there's our swimming pool. And, and the jacuzzi's down there, so we really get got all you want. The putting green, as you can see here. And Melby Marlin's coming over here shortly, and he and I are going to get some golf in and some fishing. And we'll have a great time showing him our island of Maui. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> see, Ken, he's, he's, he's working hard, doing something there. I don't know. Liz, oh boy, she's, she's straining herself, too. <laughs> Carol, did you get your check for Betty? Yes, I did. Thanks. Hot dog. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to go for a little walk, and this will be proof positive that we took it. How much is this going to cost us? Oh, martini or something like that? Oh, that's not bad. I can have one. Okay. <laughs> well, there's the entrance to 3D you're looking at, and up above is 3K, our two-bedroom one, and that window you see up above on the left is part of our upstairs unit. Betty and I are going to go for a little walk on the beach and she wanted to go back in. She said to get a drink of water but I think she had to go to the bathroom. And she should be coming out that door any moment. And we'll take you over to our little station wagon. We're going to drive down to the beach and uh, go for a beach walk. There's our little station wagon. You notice the license plate is map 811. And uh, the reason I selected that is the address here at COA is 811 South Kihi Road. So we always remember which car is ours. But we bought that in 79. We got about, oh, 16,000 miles on it. And it's just like new. It's a beautiful little wagon. And we really need it here when 
friends arrive. Lots of suitcase area. You can see what we've got is our parking lot out here. They just removed some big trees. One would have been right about here, or two of them, I should say. And they were tearing the uh, pavement up now. That's the office where Larry Stallmaker at the uh, stay. They operate the unit. They are on a trip to uh, Montana right now, and we'll pick them up at the airport. I think it's on the 21st. Our tennis court's over there. A little cabana that you can use if you want to have a group of people over too big for your own apartment. Why well, use the cabana? Uh, what a beautiful day as you can see in a slight breeze. Must be about 85 or so and I think time wise this got to be about 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning. But who cares what time it is. It's just beautiful. Well, we're out on the beach where we do our little walks. And in the background over there that's the island of Kahulabi. And then they have a little small remnant of a crater down there that they take boats for uh, snorkeling. On the, there's the end. That's, no, that's just a little point. Beyond there is another point that comes out, which is about the end of the island. Those are the buildings that are right across from our condo, so you can see we're not too far from our condo for our beach walk. So we walk down to where the the breakwater is there, sort of you know, just beyond that. But the trees are dead center, and we walk to there and back. Now I'll switch the other way and show you the other distance we walk. Just look in the other direction as we go for a walk. You can't see the beach. It sort of bends a little bit, but life dead ahead of us, and they uh, can't make it out too well. In the center of the picture is the Malaya Surf, where we have stayed many, many times before we bought our own place. Over there is West Maui Mountains, and you can't see to the right from here would be Haleakala, but the direction I'm pointing right now is the road that goes to Lahaina. And there's the island of Lanai. You can just see it in the background, and when you get around the point you're looking at there, you come to Lahaina, then you can see Molokai as well as Lanai. So it's a beautiful place to be. The wind is down, and the ocean is beautiful. We're going to go for a walk. Down that way, and you can see what a beautiful ocean we've got to look at. And now we're going to go up the other way. We'll try to get a sunset on the same tape. Yeah, I'll get here. Right, okay. Anyway, now you can see the other direction we walk, and we do. If we do a total walk from the breakwater down there right in the center of the picture to the other direction. It's just about a two mile walk almost. Somebody's pointing to something there. As you can see we do have some palm trees here on Dolly. Just a little uh, building that we stopped. It's got restrooms and used to have a shower facility but they took it away for some reason. And along here is a sort of a grassy area where you can up above there where the trees are, you, you can uh, barbecue and have a lot of fun in the evening, sunset. Okay, there's Grandpa walking down the beach, jogging. <laughs> Beautiful walk this morning. That's it, that's about as far as we're going to go. We'll go the whole distance, all the way down to the very end. Okay. Okay, let's get going. Huh? Let's get going. Okay. Let's go. As you can see, we're right along the road here, Kihei Road. There's 
little homes and the apartments that are rented here. So we're right on the beach. Beautiful place. Down at Lyre Bay, now you can see one of those uh, jet skis out there. They seem to move them away from the buildings a little because they do get monotonous. Malaya surf a lot better, and there's the breakwater. We were going to walk too. I don't know whether we will or not. Height, but this is Maalea Bay. All of this, all the way across. What you're looking at here, this is where the whales come in, and there's the town of Maalea. Quite a few condominiums, some restaurants, boat landing, and charter boats. They're doing jet ski again. Seem to be having a lot of fun. The wind is starting to come up a little bit. Should be getting some white caps here pretty soon. You can sort of feel it coming up. <laughs> you drop the board and it's just jump on it. And then. There we go. There's the uh, raft that the jet skiers use. That was used to be owned by friends of ours, Wendy and Steve Jones, who have moved to San Diego. There's a jet skier having a ski, so to speak. We've had a lot of complaints about the noise of the jet skis, but right this moment the way the wind is going, you don't know how to hear it. This is one of the sails that you see on these wind sailors, and they are beautifully colored. And when the wind is up, some of those look like they're going about 50 miles an hour or more. Well, here's Betty. She's going to the breakwater. We always walk up and touch it. Touch it. You <laughs> there, I got to do the same thing. Then we got to walk back. Here's those buildings. Okay, I'm a coming. Across the street, there's Suda's, a gateway to Keyway, Kihei. <laughs> Little grocery store. We shop there not too often now, but when we stay at Malaya, we stayed at Malaya Sir, which is right near here. While we used to shop there quite a bit. Come over here. We looked at one of the condominiums there to buy, but it, that building there is not fee simple. And in the year 2000 and about four, whoever owns the land takes over the building. And that's not too good. There's Smiley. <laughs> There's Malaya serve right in the middle. You like my hair, do? Sure. I told you earlier on the tape that Melby Marling is coming over and he and I are going to be doing just what this man is doing, fishing, but uh, I hadn't thought about using this point here. Tom Wright pointed out another area which is walking over lots and lots of this lava and carrying some of our gear. It's a little, oh, dangerous if you want to call it that. And if you catch fish, it's hard to bring them in because you're not down on the water's edge. But this is what we'll be doing using the spinning. It looks like he's got a yeah, regular spinning outfit. I thought he was cranking with his right hand, but he's not. Oh, he, I thought he had a tap then, but he didn't. But anyway, that's what Melby and I are going to be doing in about a week from now. We have lots of plans for Melby's visit here. And we know he's going to enjoy it. And we're just sorry the duty... It won't be here with him. We asked him a thousand times to come over to visit us, both of them. And unfortunately, on December 22nd last year, when I got decided to take duty from it, she won't be here, but she will at the same time as we all know. She'll be with Melody. Okay, now the wind sailor, if he knows what he's doing, he just will get it out in the water and he steps aboard and away he goes. Hopefully on the same film we will get over on the windward side of the island and uh, 
get pictures where they have a whole flock of them over by the airport. I guess what he's going to do is teach this young lady uh, to operate it. Now, she's just beginning. She won't get up right away, I'm sure. Let's hope she does, though. Push. Whoop. Whoop. It looks like a lot of work, and I think it is. You know, it looks so easy for the guys to know what they're doing. But as you can see, they're having to engine wrestle that. Team get started, so let's see what happens. Maybe giving up already, but <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's it. Get up in the meantime. Here comes a little airplane right over the top. He's down pretty low. I think it's Lindbergh. Hi, Lindbergh. Paris is the other way. My gosh, the girl got up. Hang on. You know, the problem is there's not enough wind. That's hard to do what she's doing. I don't think she has a belt on either, which is not a very good idea. It takes a lot of strength, too. But she really should have a belt because if she fell off and can't swim too well, that board doesn't come back to you like the uh, jet skis. The jet skis, when they fall off circles... Or if she gets hit on the head. Yeah, she gets hit on the head. It, it is something that you should do. Wear a jacket. No question about it. And right at the moment, she better learn how to blow real hard. It's getting heavier and heavier. Maybe the jet ski will come over and give her a tow. Betty and I are going to try both of these <laughs> someday. <laughs> well, the breeze is starting to. Oh, no, pull, pull, oh, pull. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. But that's how you learn, as Betty said. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> there he goes again. Ooh, boy, that got <laughs> so I can't blackmail him on the photo I had before. <laughs> He's been working all this is about almost midnight at night and they've been going all day and all night. Sunday. <laughs> and that's Sunday too. Sunday, yeah. That's right, I forgot. So it's double time, right? <laughs> okay, well, I, we got proof positive. We're working like crazy. Ah, man. There, now, Melby's arrived. Oh, really? Oh, the boat on the surface. They're too rough. Help me. What, what did he say, Melby? He <laughs> said it was too rough. So, the Marlin has arrived. Finally in Hawaii. <laughs> Bless the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> what? Now watch yourself. Yeah. Now be careful. You too, Melb. We're out on a point that Melby and I are probably going to fish one of these days, but we won't fish. Where are you? Wave to him. I think up. it's too windy. <laughs> you think it might be Melb? Where we're talking about fishing is to my and to our left. But this is a little cove at the shore line at McKenna. This is the area where Charlie Johnson, our dear friend.